So a, a lot of coaches and self-help books out there, they are talking about how you need to have a, a higher expectation of yourself. You know, ex expect more from yourself. Have discipline. Use use motivation. And it's they're they're just they have good intentions, right? They're like, you want to move to the next level. So you have to become someone new. You need to have a higher expectation and you need to, to really focus and make it work. No excuses. But I know that I know there's some people out there who are just pushing themselves, who are tired of it, who are frustrated. And what if you could, you could let yourself off the hook at times? Wouldn't that feel great? Wouldn't that just let you, you drop and relax and, and enjoy life a little bit more? That would be great. And we're going to use a, a metaphor today called the, that I'm calling the toothpaste metaphor. And it, it will actually show you when you should actually expect less of yourself. When expecting more of yourself is actually counterintuitively making things worse for you. It's, it's spending extra energy that you don't need to spend. And you are, you're just kind of banging your head against the wall. And I bet a lot of you feel that way. So today we're going to be talking about that. And it's pretty simple. It'll be a shorter video today. Uh, I talked about the toothpaste metaphor in a past video, but I just feel like it's, it's so powerful that I wanted it to have its own, its own episode. So toothpaste episode toothpaste <laughs> and and i'm i'm rich life i am a i'm a coach and a guide and i help people who especially thought leaders aspiring thought leaders like coaches and speakers who struggle with imposter syndrome i help them and drop the imposter syndrome so that they can have a, a richer experience of life they can have more impact and more connection. And this space is the Rich Life Realization Podcast, where we explore the richest life possible. Because there's there's such a rich life all around you. And it's it's this this magical, beautiful experience that you might be taking yourself away from unknowingly innocently. So I want I want to help you connect with that. That's great. That's exciting. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll talk about the toothpaste metaphor. I'll be I'll be talking about with this the the levels of consciousness or moods. So if you I, I talked a lot about it in my last video. Watch the last video might be a good like starting point. But you I'll, I'll go over it a little bit. And, and so you won't be missing out on much. But the last video was awesome. So uh, check that one out too. So the moods or levels of moods, thats it's super important to understand the toothpaste me metaphor in that you have at times like a high mood and you're feeling great and you, you're clear, your thinking is, is, is clear and good, you're a good problem solver. And then you have a low mood and you're kind of gumming up the system unknowingly. You getting lost in your own thinking. You're using the power of it to, to hurt yourself. And it, it doesn't feel good. Your thinking, your level of clarity goes way down. And the toothpaste part that you're like well where's the toothpaste coming in i'm i don't know so when you're in a high mood 
those things that you want to have in your life come naturally to you, like confidence, like patience with your kids, maybe, like it could be flow or creativity, whatever you're seeking, it could be self-expression, your natural well-being, come, it shines through during that time. And it, you don't have to work hard at it, do you? Well, when you have a, a low level of understanding, you are in that low mood. I think a lot of us are like, well, I need toothpaste right now to fix this. And, but we're kind of working with an empty, an empty tube of toothpaste. And we, we don't even realize it. And we're, we can use all of this energy and focus and determination. It's, there's maybe like a tiny little bead of toothpaste in there and we're like fighting with it. And then we, we get our, our toothbrush and we press as hard as we can and we're like, Oh, and then we have to, it like goes back in the tube and you're working really hard, aren't you? For, for not a lot. you you barely get any, but you're determined. You're like I need to get all of the toothpaste out. Of <laughs> you're in this low level. It's it's a grasping. It's a, a squeezing. It's a, a holding on, and you're pushing yourself during this time to get what's not really coming. And here's the secret: it's not gonna come when you're in that low mood. I think we we wish it would. Like, why why won't it come? But when we're in that low mood, can we accept that it's just not there? Can we wait until we have a, a full tube of toothpaste? Can we not try and use a whole bunch of effort for for very little results and, and have understanding of ourselves in that and not expect a whole bunch from ourselves. I think that would bring down a lot of our own internal battles if we were able to see that and accept that and understand that. I think that's true. I know it's true. Because when you have that, that high level of understanding, the high level of clarity, it's like you've got a full tube of toothpaste. You barely have to squeeze it. You don't even have to do anything. That There's like an internal pressure that, that it comes out almost automatically, especially if it's really full. You don't have to to cultivate all of this patience and, and creativity. You just have to understand how it works and how it expresses itself. And that there's some times where it's just going to be blocked when you're going to have that empty tube of toothpaste that you're working with. And there's no toothpaste in here. And that's okay. There doesn't have to be toothpaste in the tube all of the time, does there? But I think we expect that of ourselves. We say, well, there's something wrong with me if I am not a full toothpaste kind of person all of the time. Guess what? Nobody is a full toothpaste person all of the time. No one. We're all human. There's not a single person 
that has that ability, but we think we can unlock it somehow. So my, my invitation for you is the next time that you notice I'm in a low mood, I'm in that empty, empty toothpaste, is to kind of slow down, is to have understanding for yourself, is to not try and fight with the toothpaste tube and with yourself to lower your expectations only during that time and, and have that be okay. What would that feel like? Oh. I think that we would just drop so much of that, that frustration, that self-judgment, if we understood how that operated in our lives. So the next time that you get that empty toothpaste tube feeling, let it be okay. And it is okay. It is. It's part of being human. It's part of living in this, this human world. And if you know somebody that could really benefit from this understanding too, who, who is always fighting with their empty tube of toothpaste, then please share this video. I, I don't ask for anything. I don't sell anything on here. I want to spread this, this understanding of how the mind works to as many people as I can. And I can only do that if, if you share it with the people that would really benefit. So this, this was the Rich Life Realization Podcast. And the toothpaste metaphor for life. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful and rich experience of life.